The government is revisiting a 20-year-old goal to ensure women make up half of public boards and committees by 2021. The Minister for Women, Julianne Genter, made this announcement in Auckland this morning to a room packed to the brim with female leaders. Katie Scotcher was at the announcement and she filed this report. Ms Genter announced the government was reviving the 20-year-old target at the Women in Leadership breakfast in Auckland this morning and it received a warm reception. The original 50-50 target set in 1998 was dropped in 2011 by then Minister Pansy Wong, who deemed it unlikely to be hit. She dropped it to a 45% target, and last year that goal was met. Ms Genta said today that it was time the 50-50 target was revisited. The only reason we don't have 50% women on boards is because there's systemic discrimination against women, historic discrimination. It's not because women aren't qualified, there are plenty of qualified, hardworking women. By 2021, in three years' time, all state sector boards will be evenly represented by women and men. Ms Genta doesn't think this will be a challenge. I think there's more than enough qualified women and other diverse minorities we need to look at as well. We need to look at ethnic diversity, ensuring people with disabilities are represented on boards. While the government has revived its 50-50 commitment for the public sector, women in senior leadership roles in the private sector sits at a 14-year low. This year's Grant Thornton International Women in Business survey found only 18% of women were in senior leadership roles in the private sector, the lowest since the survey began in 2004. Ms Genta hopes the government's new target will prompt the private sector to do more to change that. The reason the public sector has made progress on this is because we've had targets and a deliberate effort to increase diversity. Uh, the private sector needs to catch up, um, only at 19% women on private sector boards. Um, I want to know what the private sector is going to do to increase diversity. In a room full of women, Rob Campbell, the chair of Sky City, was one of few men in attendance. He offered a solution for encouraging more men to attend meetings of this kind. We might have to organise a men's uh, event to look at the issue and see whether the guys would turn up then. The issue's not going to go away simply by not turning up to the meetings. There are seven members on Sky City's board of directors. Five are men and two are women. And Mr Campbell says the company is working on improving those numbers. I know we're making progress. We'll be making further appointments this year and it's an important part of the criterion and it can be done, you know, it doesn't happen instantly. The chair of the National Advisory for the Employment for Women, Tracy Hopapa, says having gender diverse public and private boards isn't routine yet and that needs to change. She says the government's 50% target sets a clear benchmark. It shows that there is a commitment to progress and there is a commitment to implementing the conversation and the strategy, so that's important. Ms Genta's office says a list of the boards and committees that don't meet the target will be made public if the deadline is not met. Itamaki Makoto, Motihotaka Otiahiahine, Kukati Scotchetene.